Oh, shit. Here we go again. Mini Parfait's comments age like milk. Japanese sites are looking at any color's drop. People are making fun of any color, and also other people are molding because any color is in bad situation. All this and more on this episode. And here we have the very famous Millie. Uh, she's famous for this type of thing, for saying that Niji Sanji is not a black company. A lot of people agree. A lot of people disagree. Uh, I think everyone has their biases when it comes to this kind of stuff, but just the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. So let us uh, take a look and see what she says. Characteristics of a black company. Okay, number two, high turnover rate. <sighs> yeah, look at that. That's a high turnover rate. Graduations are turnovers. Terminations are turnovers. Whether you fire or someone leaves, that is considered a turnover in a company. Of course, it says that she said it. She said it, not me. She said it's not a black company. Also, I feel violated. Uh, I put up a post earlier to prove that favorite company is not a black company, but was removed by the moderators of my favorite company. I'm being silenced. This, I think this person's making a joke. Being silenced from experiencing the truth of my favorite company and my favorite VTuber model. Now characteristics of a black company. Long working hours, high turnover rate, low salary, short recruitment process. That all seems to show for Niji Sanji right now. Your post from Niji Sanji was removed because of participation and instigation of drama. Of course, it, of course it's going to happen in Niji Sanji. This is uh, something that is right now on Niji Sanji, which is interesting. Um, it is interesting that this is still on there. And I'm sure that by the end of today, it's going to be removed. It's going to be re replaced or with some other post. But some posts are starting to get through because I think when you have as many people out there that dislike Niji Sanji, you'll have so many posts out there. It's going to happen. Five, many people who work for black companies don't realize it. Six, sometimes they even try to justify it. A lot of the time, they also recruit from other co black companies. They So they feel grateful to being rescued from a slightly worse situation. Fun house back in the era of singular pop idols was like that. Making you feel like Oliver, thank you for your, I may have, have another note, a uh, twist. Basically, Oliver twist. please sir, may I have another? You know, that type of thing. Uh, let's see how long it will be this post, this post will survive. Let's see how long it'll survive. Uki didn't delete. Don't delete it, Uki, don't delete it. This feels like a battered spouse syndrome. Yeah, I mean, I can see that point. As someone who hasn't actually seen it, it really not a joke stream because I noticed the chat isn't laughing at it. The chat is laughing at it. They're laughing at her because they know that it is a, uh, it just seems crazy. It seems like someone, like, who would actually defend a company like that? But there she is. She's defending it. And it wasn't a, a joke stream. It wasn't a fake stream. She was actually angry at the fact that people said it was a black company, and she defended them. And, of course, that did not age well. This whole thing up here did not age well. Like, she's doing it to defend, and it did not age well. Another meme here, which is, I think they messed up the actual way of saying it. Instead of evil Niji Sanji, be like mirror Niji Sanji. Basically the opposite of how Niji Sanji is now. It says evil Niji Sanji management be like your project has been approved and your milestone button has been delivered to you. So it's like the antithesis of the Niji Sanji that we have now is saying we have uh, approved your project and it has been allowed. And it's like, so basically a Hololive, am I right? Hololive is more of a fork. E E I E N V for Mariah would be totally opposite being a two VTuber run. How life be like, I chose the Carpenter's Cup and Niji goes like, that's obviously wrong. So I choose every other cup and chugs them all down. Yeah. Do you need help? Should I get you a list of potential artists? These are all quote unquote evil management, which would be the opposite of the current management. Uh, we have a fund to co-finance your project. Would you like to apply for it? Remember to take breaks. You should. Be, you look stressed and overworked. We pay for physical and mental therapy, sports activities. Basically, all these things are are you know the antithesis. Your trip to Japan, no worries. HQ will fully fund it. Uh, of course, business class hotel and lodging too. You should take a break after visiting HQ. I can book you an onsen trip to Hokudai. Look, we're working on getting you the collab you always wanted to have. Of course, your 3D life has been approved. Red tape. What red tape? Yeah, I wish, I wish Niji Sanji was like that. But uh, one can only wish, one can only imagine the, the positivity of having that type of Niji Sanji out there. A bit of levity here with the Niji Sanji uh, 4chan thing. Uh, just people making fun of the whole situation. Uh, let's look at it a little bit bigger. It says right here, two generals in the battlefield, both great strategists, but who's wiser? General Riku, 12th the 12th wave failed very well. Send in the 13th. General Yago, the first army will be held on reserve while the mixed battalion create a breakthrough in the enemy lines. Vanguard will hold the beachhead while the homo, par the homo paratrooper brigade, uh, the hollow paratrooper brigade, I guess, uh, swoops in and brings us a victory. I am certain that they will win and, and distinguish themselves. 
Then continue, General Riku, the army has been wiped out. Very well, dissolve the branch and merge any survivors with the Navy. Talking about IN, India, and talking about in Indonesia, ID. Talking about both of them, they were both absorbed. General Yagu, the offensive failed. So that's nay. I suppose the first army can go and win again. Riku, where's my ammunition? Oh my god, they're really, wow. They really take these things, like, to the next level. I would not have expected that to ever happen in here, but of course, it is 4chan. 4chan's going to be uh, very... The way that 4chan is, for the way the 4chan always is. So they're going to be having all that stuff going on. And uh, let's see what people responded with. All right, here's the first one. Riku and Sanji. where's my last cup of coffee? Shop fast. Secondary stackable, yeah, second anniversary stackable beans. Uh, NCD is leaking again. The choice of Luigi Cadorna, and the way he's way too appropriate. I guess he was a bad general, maybe, or a good general, I don't know. Riku, where's my ammunition on the wall and the other pe people's, uh, with other cool people's ammunition. Oh, yeah, talking about the, uh, the, um... The play buttons. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. I like it. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I like it. This also popped in my feed recently. Yahoo Japan article summarizing events that happened to cover in any color in the past couple of months. Before we go through what the Yahoo Japan article says, let's take a look at what people say. This needs to be on the Niji Sanji subreddit. Anyone left who's not banned. I think a lot of people are already banned. Can't read it in the EU. Can someone give me a summary down there? And I will put it so that it can be read. This is the original one, the original version which is all in Japanese, of course. This is a translated version that I was able to get. It says, VTuber offices hugely successful festival brings unexpected ups and downs. While income continues to increase, any color also has a negative impact. What they're talking about the VTuber offices hugely successful festival, it is Holofest, which happened recently, and it was absolutely completely successful. It was a really good showing for Hololive, as it always tends to be. As how far will the momentum of VTubers, which have now become a driving force in the Japanese entertainment industry, continue? Cover, which runs the VTuber agency Hololive Productions, simultaneously held a large-scale expo festival from March 16th to 17th at Ma Makuhari Mas Mese, Chiba City. Uh, the number of visitors based on ticket sales exceeded 96,000 over the two days, nearly doubling the 45,000 visitors from the previous year. And if you remember, Niji Sanji also said that, you know, their Niji Fest or whatever it is also had an increase over the years. But, you know, of course, people are going to get more popular. People are going to, you know, bo boost things up. Recorded approximately 1.8 billion yen increase in revenue for the previous fiscal year, ending in March 2023 as income related to the event, which has been sluggish in English speaking countries. The company is expected to make a far greater contribution to the sales in the fiscal year. Right here talks about the participants, the participants who uh, appeared for tourists far away were also seen at the venue. What stood out most was a large number of foreign fans. There are participants not only from Asia, but also from America and Brazil. Yes, a lot of people. Popularity overseas anime has spread to VTubers. I've been watching Hololive broadcasts since around 2020, and I watched them about twice a week before that after work. David 30, an American working in Japan, says he has become accustomed to watching Hololive videos. Not only David, but many overseas VTuber fans have one thing in common. They're also fans of Japanese anime. Sahil, an Indian man who came to Japan on a trip, was planning to attend the anime event, Anime Japan 2024, to be held a week later, but he regretted that he couldn't buy a ticket there. I've been watching anime for seven years, but this past two years I've become a fan of YouTubers, said Sahil. Mainly watches cutout videos, or basically clip videos, the clip videos, on YouTube, as well as videos of YouTubers who speak Japanese and has gradually been able to understand Japanese. It can be seen that the influence, the influence of the increasing popularity of anime overseas also having a ripple effect on the VTuber industry. In addition to large, to the large number of foreigners, what was shocking was the excitement of merchandise sales. A huge area was set up inside the venue to sell merchandise, and there were long lines of fans waiting to buy merchandise. Oshikatsu, such buying stuffed animals of the VTubers, you support, and decorating your backpack with a large number of tin badges. That's what people were doing there, buying the badges. Now, uh, the VTuber industry is experiencing an unusual boom. Uh, not according to VG Sanji, I guess. However, we're starting to get some causes for concern. March 14th, Any Color, which operates VTuber agency Niji Sanji, and is a cover competitor, announced financial results for the third quarter in the fiscal year regarding April 24, 2024. Both sales and operating income grew by approximately 20% compared to the same period last year. Driven by increased sales of goods, however, the day after the announcement, the company's stock price plummeted to its lowest levels. While the cumulative results for the third quarter showed an increase in sales and profits looking only at the most recent quarter, it's basically saying, yeah, it's 47% increase over the last year. And, uh, 
you know, operating income decreased 21% uh, according to the same last year. Uh, so there's increases and decreases, and that's why their stock went down. Uh, the deficit widened at the festival at the end of last year. One of the reasons for the recent sluggish performance was the Nidhi Sandhi Festival held for two days in December last year, according to the company's explanation. Although income from the festivals itself increased nearly 50%, uh, more than expected related expenses happened. So it led to a decline in the company's overall operating profit margin. Uh, they've been doing high margin goods and promotions in the previous fiscal year. Merchandise sales and promotions accounted for 52% of sales for cover, while any cutter accounted for 72%. So they're making a lot more money, a lot more income from merchandise and sales. As a result, the operating profit margin is 16% for cover and 37% for any color, which means more than double the difference. So like I said before, uh, any color is pretty much doing it so that they can make as much money as possible while cover uh, does have a little bit higher expenses, but it shows in the products that they put out and in the content that they put out. When Industry Insider points out for any color whose normal operating profit margin has risen to a level nearly 40%, the profit margin will probably fall at the scale of the festival increase, which is costly. In that respect, it can be said that the possibility uh, that holding festivals have gotten a negative impact on coverage profitability is relatively low. More than the deteriorations of the festival's profitability, what caused concern is the financial report was uh, the struggle of the English VTuber group. Yeah, they said that uh, Niji EN accounted for 25% of the company's total sales and was expected to drive company growth. But the sales have decreased 24% compared to the same period last year. So, of course, that scares people. That scares everybody. So, and um, let's see. Let me Let me try to get the most important points for you guys here. Niji Sanji EN has some issues. We need to build a stable business structure for growth. That's an understatement. Uh, the development of systems such as training has not kept pace, and the debut of new VTubers has been delayed in the future in order to produce VTubers who can play active role in the medium and long term. So they're trying to uh, they're trying to continue to create a system that can create you know more VTubers and not have schedule delays and blah blah blah. Basically, they're trying to keep the large amount of VTubers coming in again and again and again. And that is something that they're being flamed for. They're going to continue to be flamed for. There has been a flame situation surrounding Nidisanti EN since the beginning of this year. February, any color decline, decided to terminate Selen Tatsuki, or as she's called, Seren Jugetsu uh, in Japan, I guess. That's, that's the literal translation. Who was affiliated with Nidisanti EN due to repeated contract violations and misleading and false statements uh, and actions on SNS. However, the statement on the IR document uh, announcing this cancellation of the contract stated the impact of the company's business performance will be negligible, which is we, we find it to be not negligible, was flooded with criticism from overseas fans. Later, the situation escalated to the point where the company's representatives uh, posted an apology video in English. So yes, he had to do apology video because it wasn't negligible. It was actually pretty bad. This, since Oshikatsu is built on the delicate relationship of trust between fans, VTubers, and the agency, this kind of situation that undermines the relationship could have an impact on the future activities, and it already has. At the, at the financial results briefing, questions were also raised about the impact of the flame. Representative Takano revealed the provision of planned content has been postponed. Going forward, we will continue to firmly implement measures that will enliven Niji Sanji EN as a whole. We will rebuild our relationship of trust. I don't think they can unless they actually fully change. The gap with cover is rapidly narrowing. The market capitalization of any color, which was listed in 2022, was at one time nearly double that of cover. So their valuation, the value that they had as a company, was nearly double, which listed the following year. But market capitalization of any color, which has lasted in 2022, was at one time nearly double. And... Um, the gap is narrowing. We have finally entered a phase in which competition within the industry will intensify. With any color struggling, Cover has decided to further expand overseas. They took advantage of the, the struggle and they're actually making good steps. The company announced that it would establish the first overseas base in the United States. President Motoati Tanago, who took the stage at the briefing session, said that enthusiastically the North American area has potential for MD, MD good sales, revenue, and licensing agreements, which we can expand, expect future revenue expansion so they that's why they're doing cover america because cover us is going to be that the base plans to develop content that meets local needs and collaborate with local companies uh will the v2 robbers which continues to grow rapidly continue to meet the high expectations stock market we don't know until things are actually market mentioned there and this is what i want to mention because it's like yeah it's basically the basic going down is needy sound is going down while covers going up covers taking advantage of the things that are happening and you know they're moving up and i'm glad that they are because at least someone is and uh, Nidhi Sanji needs to be kind of humbled a little bit, the organization itself, in order to make the changes that they need.
Pretty quick here for another defender of Uki. As we know, Uki Violetta said a lot of things against white people. Uh, he thought that it was like in a joking way. It wasn't really good jokes. And even if he meant it seriously, it still wasn't good. It wasn't proper in any way, shape, or form. But, of course, you're going to have people defending him. You're going to have people that are going to be like, Oh my god, this is not great. Blah, blah, blah. It's right here. Toxic chart. This anti-white racism is something only white supremacists believe is a thing. I'm literally white. Cry harder. That number, Karen. It says, when Uki, when the Uki problem was gaining notoriety, I had many people were using or trying to use can't be racist against white people angle to defend this spiteful commentary. At first, the idea of using that statement as a defense was so weird to me that I decided to disregard those rumors until I saw it myself. So behold my incredulity when, as I read, one such comment demonstrated this kind of hateful behavior. Isn't this reportable? It's straight up bigotry. And no, the I'm also white angle does not is not an excuse. It is not an excuse. I will say it straight up. The I am also white is not an excuse. It's not an excuse for discrimination ever in anything. You, you just should, should not discriminate. Just do not discriminate. This person says, these types of people are lost to idiocy. They're shills, willfully ignorant, and the problems at hand. And we can't help them. Let them know they're wrong and move along. Agreed. I reported it for hate and moved on. Good call. Uh, racism can exist in any race and against any race. All racism means is judging someone purely based on race skin color, and or characteristics that are stereotypically associated with a race, which is what uh, Uki did. For some reason, certain groups have intentionally tried to confuse the institutionalized racism plan with plain of racism. If an institution like a government or agency or really any group with power or others is overwhelmingly uh, against a certain race and they put policies in place to keep their race in power, uh, the system becomes a racist agency, any race other than one than the one in power. So if someone is in power and makes it so that only uh, their race, the race that they belong to, stays in power and gets all the power, then that is institutionalized. Of course, a lot of people know that already. If you are not in the in-group, you cannot be institutionally racist towards someone that of the in-group. Because you don't set policy, you don't have any power over them and have no way of taking away their power. It's not institutionalized racism because you can't affect the situation. The situation that has nothing, that has nothing to do with in interpersonal racism. Anyone can be racist towards anyone. People can even be racist against their own race. The only people who refuse to see this point are the people who have something to gain by declaring their own racist behavior as okay. Like Uki. You have something to gain, which is basically either gaining people on the, on one specific side or, you know, making his side look less bad. That's what it is. So yeah, I'll even, I'll just, you know, continue on. Even Asians can be racist towards other Asian groups or, you know, anyone of, of black descent being racist against black people. It, it can happen. And I kind of agree with that. You can discriminate against anybody. Humans have the propensity to discriminate against anything for any reason. Uh, and, you know, they can simp for a race or whatever, that, that kind of thing. They can do that. Some people, the Niji sisters, the Niji defense forces, whichever one you want to call them, are getting angry at the fact that need that former Nidhi Sanji, uh, Liver Pomu, is showing uh, her plaques, at least some plaques. Now, one thing that you should know is that Pomu's former account, her pri private life, personal life, whatever you want to call it account, their PL account, has over 100k subscribers already. So these most likely were from that and maybe, you know, a friend or something like that or another channel that she had that was over 100k. Or she may have ordered two. We don't know. But um, I don't think these are Nidhi Sanji. I don't think these are in any way Nidhi Sanji. But people think that, yes, um, like saying right here, are you effing, uh, are you effing blank? Their own channel got the play buttons. Many of the livers have their own buttons, just not the company ones, or else they would have posted it to the official accounts. So yeah, people are like, yeah, this is dumb. They, they try to get a gotcha of like, oh, she posted it on her on her official on her official past life account. She must have gotten them, and she's lying about not getting them. And other livers are lying about not getting them. Basically, they're trying to create a narrative where the livers are lying. Now, as people say down below. The NDF thinking the play buttons posted on her PL are Niji play buttons, but her PL is over 100k, as I mentioned before, and they are most likely from her PL account. Even if I'm, if not, I think the problem was that they didn't get one. It's just crazy giving them away now that they wouldn't change that. So basically, if they started giving them away as they graduated, that wouldn't make any sense. It actually doesn't change anything when the person who made the decision not giving them away is still working there. So yeah, it doesn't make sense that they would just suddenly get them afterwards or they would be giving them when before they hadn't. I don't know why she's being so coy about it. Uh, I mean, we all know it's most likely not an EG play button. 
and that she bought herself a duplicate of her PL play button. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening with that whole situation. Uh, I don't think Pomo did anything wrong. I think, you know, she's just being proud of the fact that she has play buttons at all and that she had it on her previous account. More vitriol, anger, whatever you want to call it. People are just getting angry and they're because they're, you know, shilling, defending their own organization. The people that don't even know that they exist a lot of times, don't even care that they exist a lot of times. They're going there and they're trying to uh, stand for them. And I don't know, I don't get it. It says, Aristo Pajits and Doki Pajits are really some of the most brain dead people on the planet. GDFA shouldn't have gotten stronger rope. Give it a couple more months. Next time she's trying to say people are bullying her. No, believe her lying blank butt. And she'll find it blank herself for real. She realizes that support she got after her deserved termination is all gone and left her. She's literally the embodiment of a bicycle with a stick meme. I don't think Doki Bird is that way. I really don't. It's his Knight's head cannon, NG. NG. Uh, um, yeah, they, 4chan is going like, to be very offensive. So I apologize for that. Mods on the side are S now legit. You let death threats and bullying through but not positive stuff uh clear the mods are lurking are working for niji now prove me wrong and don't delete my text entry and it just keeps going basically people calling other you know racists they're calling uh you know saying that they're being horrible saying all these types of things I'm not going to read exactly what it says because as you can see it's very vitriolic but uh people are defending niji sanji on the on the chans and they are, and also on the, the the doc site, what they call the doc site. I don't know exactly what it is, but on that site, they're doing it as well. It says, few people on the site always defend them, and why are their names being dropped, blah, blah. You have no problem talking S about the KR sicklings or people in the butterfly group name dropping them. But if your people get name dropped, why is this post taken down yet? You know, they, they basically are getting angry for the name drops for all the, all the different people. And spread lies. Yeah, here you are spewing hate and high school BS. Take your own advice. Why OP can't, dro can't be dropping names like other VTubers? Uh, because, you know, it's just a respect thing a lot of times. Um, yes, it says some hate because I'm, I'm tired. I'm so tired of everybody else. If you're so tired, just get off of, just get off of, uh, social media. That can help. She already so close to having a knife. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Uh, parasocial on main. Ririka said she's good 3D when she reaches 500k. Consider sub to her. She's really fun. They'll get 3D regardless. And then here we go. Uh, that stuff happened there. Uh, someone's still effing around. She loved DG once. I don't think so. She's dumb and greedy one. People just like, uh, I know. It's just bad. Bad. A lot of bad vitriol. Of course, not unexpected. Not crazy uh, to think that they would do that. Because some people just want to watch the world burn. Some people want to hurt others. Some people want to cause others pain. I'm not one of those. I just let my, you know, let sleeping dogs lie. Let myself be myself in my space. Uh, let everything be myself in my space. You know, just keep those images there and show the NDF. Niji sisters, in fact, a bunch of disgusting brain dead creatures. Yeah, pretty much people are being brain dead about what they're doing. The sole purpose is to defend the company. They are being, they're defending the company without even being paid, which is the interesting thing. And we continue with a little bit of what I had done in one of my videos about showing what happened recently with the doxing issue with Sayu. Uh, people are actually asking about it now. It's like, how could this have not have been an issue? How could people have just you know, pushed it away. So because recent events, I, th I thought just struck me, well, more of a question. How come when Zion was doxxed and doxxed around the time she got terminated, it wasn't much of a big deal to anyone, especially for the people dismissive, though she may be not outright hostile, of her counterclaims to management. Isn't doxing livers sort of a big deal that all of us would take seriously? Isn't sort of a bad thing to signal fan base that doxing doesn't get much of a negative reaction out of you just because of the person getting doxxed is? Sorry, this random, but it just came to my head. And it says they do, but they were turning a blind eye. She also got doxxed when she was still working with Niji. So even when she was inside of Niji, people were releasing her doxes. And that's not good. That's not good because, you know, especially if people don't like you, they can do a lot of stuff. A little, not nothing wrong with Niji. It's Zion that's the problem. Well, she's new, so it's okay to fire her. So it had led her to be underestimated and brushed aside as one off. They're probably expecting that she was going to leave and sign a silencing contract. So why bother spending money defending her from getting doxxed? When they were expected for her to leave soon anyways the doc site went down and then came back but doesn't update for new debuts so likely it's been taken to court before uh they could they could have taken it down another thing was according to the niji leaker on vt so grain of salt it was the talent that doxed her and oh it was a talent that doxed her and put her on the site i mean that's possible it's possible with the niji sanji i don't know again it's a grain of salt it was a leaker, a quote-unquote leaker. So it's a grain of salt, big grain of salt. All, you know, hearsay and stuff. A few of the NDGEN talents basically have acknowledged the site before on stream. 
and I basically admitted how it's pretty much simple Google search to find it. Yes, I lurked in the same thread you speak of, grain of salt and all that, but assuming it's true, big, big if, huge if. Uh, I think the person pretending to be a liver is either former mod or a LAR or LARPer. Yeah, it could be very much be a LARPer. The idea that it was one, one of the talents that posted the docs, but the fact that another talent laughed about it when the person in question told them about it, I just feel sorry for Sayo being in these situations. I do too. That's why I like bringing this to light because when people are like, oh, Niji Sandy's not so bad, at least the livers aren't so bad, there are some people inside that are probably pretty bad. Can't really prove who, can't really prove when and where things are said, but it's a possibility that, yeah, there's some bad people in there, just like there are always bad eggs in someone's basket at some point in time. More stock bullets and stuff, just another, you know, coping session that we see here. Uh, if you're going to save flames, please tell me the number of registrants decreases. It's not like the stimulant disappears when you put a lid on something that smells, but it's a company that isn't a company really. Uh, 22F is kind of on a rampage. I think the negative cans of other companies in the same industry should be done. And anti-bulletin boards uh, is also a nuisance, uh, even if you're anti-active here. I'm still criticizing other boxes. The, the guy who's banging on the rest of Suisse's collaboration is a moderator, Niji Sanji, but he does it a lot. On the bulletin board of any kind of stock, why is the cover anti-rampaging? I'm common. It's common knowledge that there are a lot of Hololive and uh, antis in Nijiri, and there have also been a lot of evidence that those people have slapped Hololive's covers and covers of the posts in the past. No one is talking about cover, but the one person talking about cover, the grass, is saying the cover. Also, normal out remarks. Uh, Niji Shin is serious, and there's people who are starting slandering Hollow. Then this this one here that I'm going to make bigger. Isn't it down to go because there's a problem with any color? There's a person muttering to himself, a little scary. We have, if you could look at the holders here, you can see that they're all hated over the world. It's Tanazu, take care of their shareholders, pay dividends early, basically Takumi. Say with any, erase all the rice, come to the cover and sell it, erase all the rice again and return it to sale at any, like any color, I guess. Uh, since the end of the financial year, metamorphosis have been gathering one after another, cover thread. I don't think it's a good idea to get too attached to this place when there are other good stocks. And it's like here, it's almost like one of them, uh, Mr. 22F, XTV, 3A6. You can tell just by looking at the guy who, who's, he's a hollow anti here. A person who's not very interested in VTubers and is only interested in stocks. I think that if you find that a VTuber community will grow, you should buy both any color and stock and uh, cover stock. Frankly annoying from 22, 22F Kun and any color. Uh, I think it's better to go to summary site. Seriously, I'm only talking about delusion of cover. It was, it was too violent. Uh, on the cover bulletin board. Uh, people basically talking about the antis in cover. The company here doesn't seem to have a very energetic business plan. Excellent, everyone. It's a post. If it's a post, could you give some ideas and suggestions? I will make a leap in corporate performance. Let us all cheer for each other. It can't be helped because any color and cover are making money by targeting such races. When you put it in the ignore list because it will be difficult to see the bulletin board. When it goes down, twice as much as the next one. And when it goes up, it's half. It looks like it will be lined up soon. It's money coming here on the ex-dividends dates. I can see a future where the market capitalization was overtaken by the end of the year. So yeah, people are having conversations about this. As you can see here, restrictive measures. I didn't say much, but it simply summarized it in one half lines. Draw you move to prime when there have been more negatives. It's clear that volume is decreasing in the company's par with prime companies. The stock price is the same as last year in March, and it's growing fast and declining right, really. Share buybacks, prime switches, stock splits. I'm talking about stock stuff, basically trying to prop it up, trying to make it better. And of course, that's just basically the cope session that's going on in both Yahoo Finance. You know, a lot of people are coming out to be anti Hololive because of, I guess, coping. And that's what people are saying here. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on in this world. Thank you so much for being here. And I appreciate you watching everything until the end or watching whatever parts that you wanted to watch. Comment down below. I love having, hearing your comments and seeing them and everything. Also, my socials are in the description below as well as a video on the screen for you. Have a wonderful day, hydrate, and take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.